Good day guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm focusing on grade 11 on the topic called the bearings. The bearings um, are the directions of the forces. We're looking at the direction of the forces. Our very important thing about bearings only for vectors, as it's written there, only for vectors in horizontal plane i.e. parallel to the surface so we considering things on uh, that have bearings when they are on the surface of the earth which is parallel to the surface of the earth and very important one it says uh, use north as zero degrees always clockwise this is what it means then this is the north and this is the south so this will be zero degrees and we're moving clockwise when we say clockwise we're moving in this way clockwise and that will be 90 degrees 180 degrees 270 degrees and back to 360 degrees so we're moving clockwise this is clockwise we're starting from zero and then we go 90, 180, 270, 360 when we do bearings. Now we have these forces. Now the angle, the general direction of the of this force, which is the 10 Newton force, which is force A, it's 30 degrees. But in terms of the bearing, the bearing of that, you have to start from the this they always say from the positive y axis which is from north so let's say for a force of what a um, the bearing for that so we'll say a 10 newton force this 10 newtons force is on a bearing um, a bearing is on a bearing um, of what on a bearing of what now when we start from from the north or from the positive y axis and up until this angle up until this force so if you look at there the difference is what is 60 so it's at the bearing of what of 60 degrees so the bearing of of, of the bearing of the uh, force um, which is 10 newton force is on a bearing of 60 degrees let's look at the force b the force B, what is the magnitude? It's eight newton. So we'll say eight eight newton force is on a is on a bearing on a bearing of now let's use a different color. We start from north again clockwise. So we go up until we hit there. So this is one eighty this is 180 and then 180 plus 12 it's going to be it's going to be 192 192 so the force 8 newton is on a bearing of 192 and then let's look at the force c the force c is on a bearing of we start from the positive y axis and we move clockwise up until we hit the force there. So if you look at this, this is 90, 180, 270 plus 65. So 270 plus 65, so it's going to be 335. So we'll say there the the five newton force is on a bearing bearing of of 335 degrees that's how you do bearing it's always start from the positive y axis and we move clockwise and the clockwise direction is that i hope that makes sense